What if you could organize a quiz-based game show in your classroom dealing with your subject to increase student engagement in your class? Hello and welcome back to my channel High School History. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to use flippity.net to create some amazing quiz game shows in your class. So we will go to the Flippity website by typing flippity.net in the URL bar and the home page opens up. Now what Flippity lets you do is turn your Google spreadsheets into uh, a set of amazing games and activities that you can do with your students. But for today's purposes, we are going to focus on the Flippity quiz show. To begin with, we will click on template and it will force us to make a copy. Now when you make a copy, make sure you are logged in to your Google ID so that it can save the copy of this document in your drive. So now the demo quiz opens up in this window. As you can see, it's the same category as I had shown you earlier on in the video. But this does not serve our purposes because we want to make a quiz on our subject. So since I am a social science teacher, I decided to change some of the categories. So for category 1, I decided to select history, geography for category 2, political science for category 3. Now I feel I don't need category 4, 5 and 6, but I don't want them showing up on my quiz board. So all I need to do is highlight this cell and just type an uppercase X in each of these cells. Now what happens when I do this is that when I finally open the quiz, these three columns will not show up on my quiz board. Then you can go on to edit the questions and give the correct answers. For example, I've given what does the term Mesolithic age mean and I've given the correct answer. Similarly, I have done so for five questions in each of these categories. You can add more if you want, but for today's purposes, I've only selected five from each category. Now, once you're done with this, you need to go to file and publish this sheet to the web. So you select publish to the web and this dialog box opens up. You click on the blue publish button and Google Drive asks you whether we are sure we want to publish the selection. Click on OK. Now your sheet has been published to the web. We cross out this dialog box and we go to the tab next to the demo tab on our sheets. We click here and we see that our flippity.net quiz show link is ready. When we hover our cursor on this link, the usable link opens up and we click on this. And you can see that this is already processing the quiz further and you've seen how those extra three columns have been deleted out. So all I have are the three categories that I had decided. Now when you come to the left hand side of the screen, you've got your four teams. Now what we can do is we can add and delete the number of teams we have depending on the number of students in class. So we can have up to six teams in this quiz game show or we can have as few as we want. Now for today's purposes, we are going to stick to three teams. Now team one, two and three look a little boring. Why don't we ask our teams to choose a name for themselves, kind of get their creative juices flowing. So all you need to do is highlight the team names and you can start editing. So let's call the first team the Smarties. The second team calls themselves Einsteins, if you please. And team three decides that they want to be called Know It Alls. Now what you can ask your teams to do is select whichever counter they think they would like to answer. Now each of these numbers on these counters stand for the number of points that the students may win, that each team may win, provided they give the correct answer. 
but it can also mean that they can lose these marks if they give the incorrect answer. So let's play a few rounds and see how this works. So let's decide, let's um, have the smarties choose their first question and they decide that they want to really up the stakes. So they decide to go for a 500 mark geography question. So when you click on this tile, the question opens up and the question is name the oldest fold mountains in the world. The smarties consult each other and come up with the answer, the Himalayas. Now let's check whether their answer is correct or not. And we click to view the answer on the same tile and the answer comes up as the Aravalis. Now the smarties have got it wrong. So you may click on the cross mark next to the name smarties. So they know that they've got it wrong and they've lost some marks. So they've already lost 500 points. Let's move on to the Einsteins. The Einsteins get a little cautious and they feel that it's easy, it's best to go a little easy. So they choose a 100 mark question from history. So we click on the tile and the question comes up, what does the term Mesolithic age mean? They consult and they come up with the answer, Middle Stone Age. You click on the tile and they get the correct answer. So what you do is click on the check mark on their team count. Let's see how they've scored. They've scored 100 points. And here you can see since they've given the right answer, the tile gets highlighted in yellow as well. Now, sometimes I feel that giving negative marks is really not in the spirit of the game. So you can decide not to give negative markings, marks at all. So if no at all, choose, let's say, a 300 point political science answer question. We click on this and we get the question, what is the term of the Lok Sabha? And they decide they want to say four years. Let's check for the correct answer but it's five years, so they've got it wrong. Now you've decided at the beginning of the quiz that you're not going to give negative marks. So all you have to do is not click either on the cross or on the check mark at all and leave it as it is. And we move on. And the know it all only score zero. So we can similarly keep clicking on each of these tiles as the students choose them and play the game until all the tiles are exhausted and you will come up with a leaderboard and you can decide how you want to reward your winning team. So go get creative, put on your thinking caps and create this quiz for your next class. Till the next time we meet, goodbye.